do. All right. All right. Well, hello everybody. Hope everybody's having a fine day. You hear that wind whipping out there? Yes, sir. we were doing this outside, but we got some wind going on here today. She better get her rug put down over there, Deb. <laughs> See, just blow up. Um, we're supposed to have 20 mile an hour uh, wind today. High gust, just the way it is. We have a new uh, antenna set up here that we're going to be putting in. I'll show y'all how I do it. It's uh, the Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2. And the reason we bought this, it come uh, four and a half, five stars on YouTube. And uh, I was watching this video, uh, Techno RV. They did a real good video on it. It's a pretty simple system to use. And I'm going to show you the different components and everything. And here's the instructions. I've read them. They seem to be pretty simple, straightforward. Um, so here, let's get to the meat of it and show you what it's, this thing is. It, the price of it was a hundred and what was one hundred forty-three dollars, one hundred forty-nine dollars, one hundred forty-nine dollars with tax and everything. Comes in this nice little box. Here's my Amazon receipt. Here's a little booklet they sent you, and they give you this. So you got a nice little diagram here that shows you all the different parts and pieces. Like and here's all the different components. Comes in a nice little tray for you. See that? Isn't that pretty sweet, y'all? Look at that. Got everything there. This little antenna, of course, goes to here. This is for inside your cabin. And people use these in uh, semis, use them. Marine uses them. Just like any Wi Fi. And people say, well, why don't you go ahead and get, uh, get the uh, what's Wii the Boost? The Wii Boost and all that. Well, with technology changing to 5G and probably we'll be upgrading our phone on down the road, we just kind of, you know, I got more, I got more time to money. I like to keep my money, y'all. So, and here's the antenna they sent us. So we're just gonna kind of try this out, and uh, it was way cheaper than six or seven hundred dollars. This goes up on the tube, up on this tube. I can get this out of here. Y'all bear with me a minute. It's got a little O-ring on it here to keep the water out. I wouldn't say you'd have to ring this off. You probably want to make it good, good snug tight. And it's got little tie wraps go here to put it on if you want to. I would think you want it up so the, the, the catch, captures your signal in a loop about a mile out and pulls it in makes it strong. 9 dB I think is what it said in the directions. It's got these little loops here for a tie wrap. This is a fiberglass, wrapped in fiberglass tube here. That feels like plastic there, but they said it was fiberglass inside of it. This could be just the housing over top. And here's where you, you take this off and your cable fishes up through there. This is like a little rubber boot. And you run the cable, this cable is the one I'll be hooking up and it runs down inside. That's the long cable. I don't know how many feet this thing is. I think it's 20 feet. Pretty long. See how long it is, Mom. And I'm working on it. I'm sure it's about 20 feet. Anyway, I got string out in anyway. Might as well go ahead and do it. Let it, let it relax a little bit. Okay. So that's that. A lot of cable. I think this is the end that goes up into the bottom of this. Pull this plug out and see. 24 feet. See, they already have it pre-cut for you, I think, yeah. Lincoln, is that right? Yes. Okay. Um, it's already cut, so it slides up on the cable for you. Let's see what we got here. Oh, my. So, this comes off. Got a little grommet disc in here. A grommet is a little plastic disc. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up because I'm just gonna pass you down the cable I'm gonna use for in there. That works for me. So, 
instead of trying to push all this cable up through the AC unit. I hope this noise is not too much. I don't know. It might be. The wind is blowing like y'all wouldn't believe out there. Yeah, it's whipping around pretty good. It's a grommet on there because it's a split grommet. That silicone makes a great grommet. <coughs> when you push this in, it doesn't snap or nothing, but you want to make sure it goes all the way. Okay. Now, now it will not pull because it sets flush. It keeps the plug in so it don't vibrate out. So if the wind is blowing 100 miles an hour, it'll be okay. You should, well... <laughs> well, I'm not getting anything at 100 miles an hour up on the roof of an RV, y'all. I'm 30, not going to be in it. <laughs> 30, 40 miles an hour, yeah. But usually we're not moving around much when it's 30, 40 miles an hour. We kind of lock her down. We pull off the road and stop and point it into the wind. Yeah. Um, we just like to be safe. Okay, and that sits pretty good. I don't think no water's going to get up in there. It's a pretty good looking little boot. That's good. It's supposed to be some tape in here. There's a tape. I'm supposed to tape up these ends. Yep. Go ahead and do that. Yeah. That's what the whole setup looks like. That's mm. going to be pretty cool, huh? Are you tired? <laughs> okay, I've got it all hooked up. Okay, and we've decided that this needs to go into this one. The other one is for DC. Power is on. Gotta plug the USB into it. Let's see what we got here. Okay, if you look up here, I've got my Wi-Fi if I hit this, it turns my Wi-Fi off. Um, now, here is the Wi-Fi Camp Pro right up here. And all I did was plug everything in, and my Wi-Fi was on, and boom, there it is. And then it brings up, once you click on that, it brings up this screen. Now, on this screen, you have to put in a password here and repeat the password, and then submit. You are not on the internet at this point. And this is coming from somebody that has no idea what I'm doing. And it's loading. It's scanning. Okay, now, here's where you get on the internet. You pick what you want to connect to. Your Wi-Fi, your hotspot. Okay, and here we are, the Phoenix Ramblers. We're at 76%. Now look, these are our friends up the road. They're back behind us, and they're at 81. But we're going to pick uh, the Nomadic Ramblers. Okay, and that's what we want to connect to. Now I have to put my password in. And Pro 2, that we set up a while ago. Okay, it says password must be at least eight characters. Okay, and let's hit finish. 
It says this may take a while. See? It says please reconnect the Wi-Fi and select. Okay. And see right here? It's looking for it. And bam, we have it. Sorry, I hit the computer. Let's see what we got. Yep, we're hooked to the Nomadic Ramblers. All right. I think that's it. We good. We are good, good. Woohoo! And there are the directions. And the weird thing is, y'all can hear Lily snoring under there. Uh, we did it wirelessly, okay? And it automatically, this automatically popped up. So I got to skip down to step three and enter um, my password under the name, this name right here. Okay. Then I found my access point. I entered my password. I clicked finish and uh, it repeated. Y'all seen that? And it rebooted and there we are, back up and running. And to reconnect, you do the same thing with uh, on your new personal name. Sweet! We got it. All right. Thank you.